Hi, Adam here. I've been thinking a little bit about um, setting pay and in particular the logic of setting pay when someone gets a promotion. And uh, if you join me, it's a nice morning, not so cold today. Let's go for a little walk and a talk about this. So, you've heard me say before that reward is an art form, not a science. It's not, if you take a logical process or something that appears logical and apply it in all circumstances, you get illogical outcomes. Now, the basic principle when it comes to pay benchmarking, so what's the fair rate for a job, is to uh, you know look at the factors, look at external market, internal market, and um, yeah, come up with a benchmark. And what you're saying is that's a fair point. Now, most organisations they'll look uh, either side of that benchmark point and say, okay, this is then a range from where we think everything is acceptable, and that's good. So. But there's a time when all of that seems to go out the window, and that can be at promotion time. Now, um, work with me on this. So say you apply for a new job at a different company, and you go for that job, and um, the advertised rate uh, is 25% higher than your existing job. So it's a step up, you know, but you're ready for it. You know, you've been doing great work. You do great work, don't doubt yourself. Um, and you're ready for this stuff up. And you go and you know you get through and you're told you're successful but then they say well actually rather than put you on this salary that's 25 percent higher uh we're going to put you on something that's 10 percent higher than you're on at the moment how do you feel about that and this is one of the things that really kind of infuriates me um, with some companies practices some companies legitimately look at an internal applicant's salary and say well look we could put them on the benchmark rate that we've said is fair for the job that we would give to an external hire but oh that's quite a big jump let's cap it at 10 percent now this is part of logic going crazy so it's wrapped up in some things. I mean, for me, I very much consider it to be part of kind of like a financial prudence. Like, you know, oh yes, it's very careful that we control costs. You know, we don't want to be, you know, giving out too much money. And that's like, well, yeah, it saves some money, but at what cost to the organization? I mean, the thing is, think about the rate for your job. You've got a pretty decent feel about whether or not it's uh, the rate for the market and if you step into a new role and uh, you've been low-balled you find out pretty quickly within about a year as you've gained confidence and competence you will see adverts for similar jobs and you will know that what you're getting is not there let's use that example 25% higher as the going rate you were capped at 10 so there's still another sort of 15 percentage points relative things with promotions let's call it 13 12. that's a big step up and that's not for doing a different job that's for doing your job your new job that you can do and that's you know <laughs> what is the logic how do you feel when you find that out because you've been lowballed you've been distinctly undervalued by your organization and for what reason? The only reason that it's happened is because the company is trying to control costs. So they have withheld money from you that is your money. So there's a logic that 10% is quite big and there's a desire to control costs, but it's forgetting the human factor and it's forgetting the art. This is not about achieving a numbers result. Reward is an art. It is about the human at the centre of the equation. Went to the re-renovation day the other day and my little takeaway motto from the whole thing is basically we should be behaving, companies, but I take this for reward as well, as if people 
and the planet mattered. Ask yourself if your organisation has a policy that caps internal promotions or pay rises at a particular percentage, or if you're ever promoting someone up into a new role and you think, gosh, that's quite a big step from what they're on now to what we've said the fair rate is for a role, should we give it all to them? Remember, act as if people mattered. Because they do. <laughs> all right, uh, comparatively short one for me. But yes, reward is an art, not a science. And for the love of God, don't cap your pay uh, increases just because it's a big step up for some people. All right, cheerio.